Hello boys and girls and welcome back to art class. Today we are going to create some soup cans inspired by Andy Warhol's Campbell Soup series. Andy Warhol is a world famous American pop artist. He was born in 1928. He passed away in 1987. Pop art is a type of art that was emerging in the 1950s and the 1960s in the UK and here in America. Pop art challenged the traditions of art. It included popular imagery and mass-produced products. It questioned the idea of what art and paintings were and does it have to be unique or original. In 1962, Andy Warhol created a series or a group of paintings dealing with Campbell's soup cans. He created 32 paintings, one for each flavor of soup sold by Campbell's at the time. Today we are going to be drawing our own soup cans inspired by this series. You ready? Let's get started. Start off with your paper and a pencil. We're going to start off our drawing by drawing an oval towards the top of the paper. On both edges, at the very edge, you're going to draw a straight line going down towards the bottom of the papers. Do that for both sides. You're going to connect the bottom with a smiley face or a stretched out U shape. And that is going to be the base for our can design. We're going to give it that Campbell's soup can center and draw a curved line going behind that on the front of our can. So we'll touch the edge, stop at that middle circle, touch the edge, and draw it on out to the side. We're going to finish our label by drawing a curved line at the bottom, mimicking that stretched out U smiley face, and one at the top that has that same curve. Now that we're done with the label, we're going to name our can. We're going to create some thick letters or bubble letters to design our can with. Very lightly label your can. I'm going to title my can Ember's Tomato Soup since Ember is my first name. I'm going to write my name lightly at the top and then I'm going to write what kind of soup it is, and my can is tomato. What kind of soup will you have in your can? And then I'm going to write the word soup underneath. Then I'm going to trace around it darker, making sure I'm going around those letters, and that way they will be thick and I can carefully color them in. When you're thinking about what kind of soup you can have, it can be your favorite soup, it can be an imaginary soup, or it could be what you would want to have today soup. Get creative with what kind of soup you have in your can. After you're done drawing in your letters dark, you can either color them in or erase the light letters underneath, which is what I'm doing here. Now you're going to carefully color using whatever materials you have available to you. I have tomato soup. So I'm thinking, what colors might a tomato soup can be? What colors will your can of soup be? And since my soup is tomato soup, I decided to add a tomato design into that middle circle. After you are done coloring in your main soup can, you want to think about what are you going to add to your background. Make sure you fill up all of your background space. It can be a realistic background. Maybe it's sitting on a counter. Maybe it's sitting beside of your bowl. You're having it for lunch. Or it can be a more abstract or designed background. I decided to go with a more abstract background and I drew tomato slices in the background of mine. What will you decide? There is no right or wrong. Make sure you're using smart marks, have fun, and happy arting. I cannot wait to see what you will make. 